aqua friends welcome to my channel today we are going to do a very easy three-step northern lights painting so i'm using a very simple palette and the first color that we're going to lay down is viridian hue this is a fantastic aqua green and is perfect for the northern lights I am having the northern lights kind of on a 45 degree angle. Once I lay down my green, I come in with some purple and neutral tint mixed together. I like the contrast between these two colors. And just to make things flow together, I am holding that paper on an angle. So I'm trying to add as much pigment as I can for my first layer to get this nice and dark and fully saturated. We will have to do two layers of the background. So once it dries, we're going to go back over working wet on dry this time. And I made a big puddle of my Viridian hue so that I could add that saturated color to my paper and have it as dark as it'll get with that second coat. Now mixing the purple and neutral tint together, I'm coming in with a very dark mixture for the sky. And you want to flick it over the green and have some variations of that dark over the green. Um, my paper's drying, so if that happens to you, you can uh, sp spray it with some water and just go over that again with your brush to get those streaks in the sky. Holding it on an angle to help the paint flow. So I'm just lifting up some areas. Once you're happy with the sky, let it dry. And then our third coat is adding the foreground tree silhouette. I'm using combination of a fan brush and a round brush. And I'm just loosely following my reference photo to get the shape of these trees in. My Princeton Black Velvet Series brush number six has a very fine point as you can see, so I'm able to get those very small detailed branches in there. So since the point is so fine, it almost eliminates the need for a detail brush. It's like a two-in-one brush. Switching to my fan brush, adding some different textures in there. The fan brush is great for making pine trees as well as grasses and other small shrubs. Getting some pine trees. And when I do my bare trees, of course, the trunks are gonna be thicker than your branches. So as you get to the tops, you have a lighter hand. A lighter touch will produce smaller branches. Thank you. 
working on one of the main trees now sketching in my trunk and the branches You could add as much or as little detail as you'd like for the foreground. Now the ground area, I am putting a second coat of that just to darken that area up. Also dropped in a fair amount of the purple um, to kind of bring out the purple that's in the sky. Darkening up some of the limbs so that they stand out better. As you can see, I have changed to a script liner brush. These type of brushes are also fantastic for making branches. And I use it a lot in making my trees. So different brushes, different textures, it all adds interest to the painting. Adding some more of that purple hue. Now I'm gonna lightly spritz that area just for a little bit of textural effects. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this tutorial and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.